You may already know that you can add a keyframe in Blender for any field in three different ways. You can either click on this dot button beside any editable field and Blender will keyframe this. Or you can right click on any editable field and select this menu option called insert keyframes. Blender will add keyframes for these fields. Or you can just place your mouse on some editable field and press the key I on your keyboard and the fields will get keyframed like this. Today, in this tutorial, we will learn about another method, the fourth option to add keyframes, which is known as Auto Keyframe. In this option, Blender will automatically add keyframes for the selected object whenever you move or you rotate or resize that object. To enable this option, we have to click on this radio button. This is available in the Timeline Editor. So let us enable this feature. Then go to say, frame number 20. Now. If we move this object to another location, we can see that a new keyframe is inserted. Blender has added keyframes for all these fields in yellow. Let us go to another frame. And we'll again change its location. A new keyframe is added here, and all these fields got keyframed. We can also manually edit the transform properties. Let us say, we change this Y location value to 4. Blender will automatically keyframe this field, since Auto Keyframe is enabled. Let us go to another keyframe. If we drag the object and change its location in the viewport, you can see that all three transform properties got keyframed, although we changed only one, only its location property. This is the default behavior of this Auto Keyframe feature. Whenever you change the object properties in the viewport, Blender will add keyframes for its location, rotation, and the scale factors. But you can change this behavior, let's say we want to keyframe only the location properties. We have to first change this keying set, so please open this menu. If you click on this box, you will get multiple such options for the keyframes. For example, you can enable only location keyframes, or rotation keyframes, or location and rotation, rotation and scale, and other combos. Let us select, only location so Blender will auto-insert only location keyframes. Then, we have to also click on this arrow button. And in this menu, we have to enable this active keying set. Now, let us go to another frame. If we change the location of our object in the viewport, you will see that Blender inserted keyframes only for its location, no keyframe is added for its rotation or the scale factors. However, you can still change any other properties manually, and auto keyframe will work. Let us take an example. We will change this zero rotation to maybe minus 15. You can see, this field got keyframed automatically, we did not need to insert a keyframe manually. This is because we have enabled auto keyframe option. Although we have enabled the location option in the keying set, it only means, if we change something in the viewport, Blender will record its location change, ignoring any change in its rotation or in the scale factors. But if we manually change a field here, Blender will still keyframe that field. So this feature is very helpful to record our animation. You can move or rotate your object visually in this window, and Blender will add suitable keyframes for all those actions for a smooth animation. We have one more useful option, under this menu. Add and replace, or only replace. Currently add and replace is selected. So if we go to any new frame, and we move this object, to some other location, we will get a keyframe added to our timeline, which is a new keyframe. Also, if we go back to some existing keyframe, and we make some changes here, say we move the object to another location, we'll see that the new values replace the old values in these fields. Now, if we select the option, only replace, Blender will auto-replace new values only for the existing keyframes. Let's go back to frame number 80. If we move the Eggman, we'll see that the old values got replaced with new keys. But if we go to some new frame, say 160, and we move our object, exactly like before, these fields won't get keyframed this time, this is a temporary change since these fields don't turn yellow. This option does not add new keyframes, it will record a change only for the old keyframes. When we create the animation data for the first time, we'll probably use the add and replace option here. And when we are editing an existing animation, or we are fine-tuning the animation, we would like to change only the existing keyframes, our intention is not to insert a new keyframe. In that case, we should select this replace option. 
And, you can also disable this keying set option, temporarily, when you want Blender to record all the transformation changes that you perform in the viewport. Or, turn on this option, if you want to restrict the keyframes. Finally, you can disable auto keyframes, by switching off this radio button. So, in this tutorial, we covered almost everything about auto keyframe in Blender, it is designed to save your time when you are dealing with a bunch of transformation keyframes. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.